Imagine yourself, 90 years old, on a porch in a rocking chair, looking back on your life. You got that image? Good. Now let me tell you, studies show that the biggest regret from elderly people on their deathbed is not what they did, it's what they didn't do. The risks they never took. How sad would it be to get to the end of your life and realize you never truly lived. This is your life, nobody else's. No matter how much the society, your parents, your friends want you to live the way they want you to live, you run the show. When you shut your eyes and go to sleep at night, the entire world ceases to exist. And when you wake up, it's born again. This is your life. You're in control. You gotta do what feels right in your heart. Now, go back to the rocking chair and think, what will your future self say about the ideas you never created, the books you never wrote, the words you never spoke? Because you were tired or you were scared or you wanted to fit in and be cool. But greatness ain't about being cool. A great man or woman will never fit in because they stand out. But I get it. You want it easy. But if greatness was easy, you would see a lot of successful people. A lot of great people. Astronauts, professional athletes, or superheroes. But you don't. You see a lot of people with big mouths making excuses on Facebook, trying to get likes. But they don't even like themselves. See, the difference between winners and losers is persistence. It ain't talent, it's persistence. My teacher told me about the bamboo tree. After planting the seed, it takes five years for it to break through the ground. That's five whole years of attention, care, and water every day. If you miss a day, it dies right there. But once it breaks through the ground, after those 